Hey guys and welcome back to the next ranking video right here on the channel. In this one, I will be ranking every single intro from every season to date. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, drop a like and leave a comment down below. It's truly appreciated and we're getting even closer to 100 subscribers. Of course, this list is strictly my own opinion too, so please keep that in mind. With all of this being said, let's get straight into the video. So kicking the list off, we do have the Season 11 intro. Now this intro does of course include the reintroduction of the fold, which is certainly a good thing. So this intro is something very different, I'll give it props to that. It's basically the previously on Ninjago in an actual intro, which I'm not too much of a fan of. It just shows little bits of the previous episode on a card which just doesn't feel like the classic intros we all know and love. And it just doesn't include any of the ninja, which I just really don't like personally. The music I am a big fan of though, I think it sounds really cool and it is just about the only thing I really like from this intro. So yeah, overall a pretty bad intro in my own opinion. Next up we have the really mediocre intro from Sons of Garmadon. So this was actually the first intro to not include the fold, which did get a lot of people concerned about what would be happening for the future seasons to come. Now this season did actually fit the much darker tone the season had. Now whilst I much prefer this intro now compared to when I first watched the season, it just still isn't that good to me and there are still so many others I prefer. Ok then, so next up we have the newest intro, that of course being Season 12's intro. Now I do like this intro a lot for what it is, it's definitely formatted similarly to Season 11's but this time fitting the theme of technology and gaming and I do like that, but the main problem I have with it is the length of the scenes from the last episode. They are each on screen for about 3 seconds, which is really short, and you don't even really get a good look at the scenes. The music, once again, I actually really enjoy, and is probably some of the best we have gotten, but the actual intro really doesn't save this one for me at all. Next we have the Techno Whip from Season 3 of Ninjago. Now, I'd say we are moving into the meh territory with this one. Just like the last fits, the technology theme fits really well in my opinion. But in my opinion, it also feels kind of rushed to me. They try and introduce the characters in a whole new way with this intro, but it feels really rushed and strange to me personally. Also, Lloyd gets his own segment in this intro, which I really don't like, as he isn't the focus ninja of this season. It would have definitely been improved if, say, Zane had his own segment in the intro instead. I don't know, but it just seems like they spent a little too much time with Lloyd in this intro, and just rushed the other ninja in it. The music is pretty cool, but not one of my favourites. Now next we have the Season 9 Hunted intro. Now lots of people will probably be quite surprised to see this one at this point on the list, but I personally didn't think it was really the best. It does fit the darkened tone of the season really well, and basically shows exactly what is happening in the season, so I'll applaud it for that. The music is okay I guess, adding to the whole dramatic vibe of it. Now, I do like this one a lot more to be honest, especially after the pretty crappy Season 8 intro. Coming in at our next spot, we do actually have the Season 10 intro. Now we're moving into the good category of my list I'd say, and wow, what a nice way to kick this category off. I really loved the visuals for this intro, and I loved how it paid homage to the older seasons before, showing their artwork each individually in a really beautiful way, and I loved that. It fits even better seeing as this is, well, the 10th season of Ninjago, which is just an awesome milestone. The music is okay in my opinion, but nothing too special. I do mainly just love how it is basically a recap of every previous season and shows just how far Ninjago has come and it's just amazing to see the show's development with the villains and seasons so far. Now in my next spot we have the season 1 slash 2 intro. Now first off, this season will always have a big spot in my heart as it is the original intro and it just brings back so many good memories of my first time watching the series back in 2016. This is actually really the only really simple intro to date, as it just shows and introduces us to the main protagonists of what would later become my favourite season of all time. It of course uses the OG classic Weekend Whip song, which is just one of the most iconic things to come out of Ninjago, and it's just amazing. I love the nostalgia and charm connected to this intro too. Moving into our extremely good section of the video is of course the season 4 intro. I really love this because of the jungle wildlife idea and feel of the intro, and it definitely fits the theme of the season very well as a whole. I also love the anachondry whip used as the music here, which also fits the theme of the season well, 
and feels very tribal, and I love that about it a lot. Having the ninja basically showing off their elemental powers over rock statues of their own names also looks really cool and is something we definitely haven't seen done in any other intros before. I do actually have one complaint there. That is the fact that they never updated Zane in the intro, which they could have easily done as shown in Season 1 and 2's intro. Apart from that, very solid intro overall. Moving into our top 3, we have my top tier intros. Kicking us off is the Season 5 Ghost Whip intro. Now I love this intro so much, as first off, we hear a different verse from the song that we don't usually hear in the actual intros, which sounded really cool. It also showed the ninja in a more cartoon style, which really suited the spooky vibe. And that moves me on to the next reason I adore this intro. The pure creepiness of, of it. I just love it so much, and it fits the actual theme of the season. The best compared to the others, really. And I personally just adore every single thing about it. The music, the visuals, all of it. In my top three is the Pirate Whip, from my personal favourite season. That of course being Season 6, Skybound. This intro is just superb in my opinion, as it features the ninja in a really cool and unique way. They actually sh get shown in bunches of two flying in the sky, which looks really cool. The pirate rendition of the, this whip fits in really well too, adding the whole pirate themed aesthetic to the intro as well, which I adore. Also, Nadakan actually appearing in the sky at the end was really great to see, and was very unusual as we don't normally get to see the villains in the actual intro itself. The animation was just amazing too and really captured the whole look of it really well, and I personally just loved it. Well, at my number one spot, we have the Temporal Whip from Season 7, Hands of Time. You were probably really surprised to see this one at my top spot, but I absolutely loved this intro. It had it all, really, and I found it to be nothing short of spectacular. Let me explain. This intro showed a whole battle scene, but completely frozen in time. Of course, adding into the theme of the season being time-related, which was awesome. The text on screen for the names of each ninja was really great too, and was something very different and unique. Now, as for the music, my personal favourite part, I absolutely loved it, especially with all the pauses and clock sounds sprinkled throughout the whole thing. It just all came together really well, and all this made me absolutely adore this intro, and it's certainly going to be hard to knock this one out of the top spot in the future. So this was my look at every Ninjago intro to date, and how I would rank them. Hope you enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed making it. Be sure to smash that subscribe button as I'm really pushing towards 100 subscribers by mid-May time. If we could reach that goal, I'd be so grateful. Also, be sure to leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below. It really helps the channel out. With all this being said, I will see you guys next time.